Okay, quick update on the Sling TSI build. Uh, as you can see, I've made some progress. It's been about two and a half weeks, although I think I've only worked a little over a week um, because I had some other distractions. I had some, uh, some company in town and then I had uh, uh, some renovations and some painting that I continue to work on. From time to time, I, I try to keep working on that because I still have some odds and ends loose on my, my renovation. So anyway, as you can see, uh, I got the bottom skins on. Um, I have the wires pulled. I have a VOR. I have a beacon, and then I have the um, elevator trim here, and I have those pulled. I have the uh, rudder cables pulled. The magnetometer is in place and wired up. Um, I have the static ports, and this is the Vans static port. It's actually when you buy it from Vans, it's actually a company called Showplanes, I guess, builds it. I've heard of them. They make some accessories for Vans uh, aircraft. Um, if you buy this from Vans, it's 30 bucks. You do get two. Um, it was unclear when I ordered it at like midnight one night. So I got two of these. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to send one back because it did come with two static ports in one kit. So don't make that mistake. Um, but as you can see, I have the, the tubing run. Um, it goes up to the high point here and then off the Y and then it works its way back to the front of the plane. Uh, and that's just an effort to keep any water from collecting. Um, on to here, I, uh, I had ordered some extra insulation on Amazon that was rated to be fire resistant. Uh, I did some testing on it. It's it's actually it it does the same as the the sling provided foam. Uh, it does not ignite, but it does smolder and put off some smell. Uh, but uh, no more than what the sling provided insulation did. So I figured uh, I was okay, especially with it being all the way in the back of the plane. Uh, I ordered a second after I tested it. I decided this was acceptable. Um, I bought a small roll. It was just enough to do this uh, and a couple other little pieces on the floor. Um, so I ordered another roll to do this piece, this bulkhead. And then uh, I'll use the sling provided insulation uh, for in here um, to do the rest. And then I use the, uh, you can't see it anymore. I think it's in my last update. There's insulation uh, between these two skins. So uh, up here, I, uh, I put in the port for the oxygen just to see uh, uh, for pulling the, uh, the oxygen wires. This is the oxygen uh, control box from Hythra. Uh, this is gonna be mounted upside down and up under here somehow. Uh, I haven't gotten the exact location, but it'll probably be right here, except upside down on the floor underneath here. Uh, this is the cable tray. Um, I have a non-parachute, but with cables installed kit. So unfortunately, I'm not smart enough to figure out how to get this in here because I can't find enough holes that line up uh, I sent an email to Sling Technical. We'll see what they say. Um, I posted it on Facebook, and uh, one person had said they were they had the wrong tray or it was built improperly. And then someone else just said that they they attached it to the skins uh, up here, and then they um, they did match drilling for um, the mounts on the bulkhead side. So that's probably what I'll do um, unless uh, Sling tells me that they, they think I need a different part. Uh, I believe all of this was done uh, in my last update, um, but uh, the next major step is to join these two together. Uh, I'm missing these bushings. I need uh, a bunch more of these bushings. So I can't put in the... Uh, uh, the uh, other two uh, controls uh, yet. Um, I put this one in and it is like stuck. You can't hardly move it. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of work with that one. Uh, it's just clecoed into place, but uh, that's gonna require some work. 
but uh, I uh, I got the rudder pedals, uh, you know, laid out and assembled, and uh, it's coming along. I also laid out the um, the harness for Midwest panels, and just sort of got an idea of how I need to route it uh, through the plane, and. Uh, I had to do a little bit of modifying uh, originally a year and a half ago when I ordered uh, the wing uh, wiring from Midwest Panels. The magnetometer location that they were advising to do was in the wing. Uh, they since uh, decided that this location in the tail is the better location. Uh, so I had to modify my harness just slightly. Um, to add the wiring from the tail to go up into the fuselage instead of out of the wing. Uh, so that was uh, actually a good learning experience for me. So I had to get out all the schematics, uh, the wiring diagrams, and, uh, and figure out how to pin those out and get that all set up. So that was a, a good little exercise. But anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, hope all is well and everybody else's build is going good. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you again in a week.